women's wrestling army, the greatest damn woman returning to singles competition. This match is set for one fall the 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, competing out of Baltimore, Maryland, Gia Scott. Gia Scott coming out the gate with a little Je ne sais quoi, shall we say. Have you been spending too much time with Ashley Dumbois? I, I certainly hope not. Uh, but Gia Scott with a confidence that she's exuding today, more so than usual. Uh, I think that has to do with her recent win against Brooke Valentine. Certainly, and we said had hard-hitting matchups with Masha Slamovich and Kylie and King really lit a fire in the greatest damn woman. But I heard she's not a big fan of spiders. Report. Continuing out of the spider's web, Blair Onyx. Now, Blair Onyx acknowledged that the greatest damn woman is an incredibly impressive competitor, but that you know, everyone's afraid of something. And I think she, I don't know, may have been privy to the fact that Gia Scott has a serious fear of spiders. And then you see Gia <laughs> Scott bailed out of the ring at that. Oh yeah, she got out of Dodge real quick there. Uh, perhaps a, a, a fear far greater than we imagined. I mean, fear shows itself in a lot of different ways. Gia Scott is physically trying to put some distance between herself and her arachnid-like opponent. And we'll have to see how else that manifests here tonight. Blair Onyx. Blair, Blair Onyx, who we saw in four-way competition as well as in singles competition recently against Kayla Sparks, now set to tangle up with the greatest damn woman here at Women's Wrestling Army. Wrenching on the arm is Gia Scott. But spindly flexibility from the spider Blair Onyx. But reversed quickly by Gia Scott, who sets a the arachnid, I think due to her revulsion of spiders. Wrenching back on the hair, Blair Onyx. Blair, you can see her moment towering over Gia Scott, has her in a compromising position with the, with the capture of that wrist, but broken by Gia Scott. Gia sends Blair into the corner, but Blair with the purview to counter out of that. And now the arachnid once more. Right, right now, Gia Scott, quite frankly. Gia Scott now backing up again, rolls out to ringside to put more distance between herself and Blair Onyx. And one thing we've got to acknowledge, no matter the win-loss record of Gia Scott, she's not one to shy away from a challenge. So seeing this side of her, this fear manifest, it's, uh, it's, it's almost like jarring. Gia Scott, who's seen oh, some hardship, gonna... seen some adversity, but doubling down on her resolve to face her fear here. And just saying, you know what, I'm going to squish that spider. So let's see if she can uh, tackle the arachnid Blair Onyx, who's staying on Gia Scott. Both of these women coming from really impressive wrestling pedigrees. Scott training at Maryland Championship Wrestling and Blair Onyx from Black and Brave in Iowa. And look at, again, Uncanny flexibility, able to to bridge out of the scissors by Gia Scott. Now Gia Scott sent the arm drag across the ring. Arm drag for good measure from Blair Onyx. Onyx now took joy in the mentality and preying on the fear of her opponent. And now with this modified tarantula. To her spiderly brethren taking some influence. Blair Onyx, a staple of the Midwest, well received here in the Berwyn Eagles Club in the Chicago land area. And we've come to see this from Onyx. She hits it. Face first goes Gia Scott. Now roll to the center, the cover from Blair, and it's not enough to keep the greatest damn woman down. And what can keep the greatest damn woman down? Am I right? All the adversity that she's gone through, uh, telling us countless times that nice guys don't always finish first. So it's definitely affected the mentality of Gia Scott, and we see now facing her fear, it's manifesting in rage with this attack on Brooke Val uh, uh, with the attack on Blair Onyx. 
So it also manifested in the brutality in her match with Brooke Valentine, which secured Gia her first win on her WWA record. Now face first into the turnbuckle pad goes Blair Onyx. And now driving that foot into the neck of Blair Onyx there. Trying to cut off the air supply of the spider. Gia Scott now coming off the ropes with a boot wash. Really trying to stomp that spider. Drags Blair Onyx to the center of the ring, away from the ropes, but still, Onyx is able to get the shoulder up. Gia is someone who said that she fights for herself by herself. But now, one-on-one -on -one with Blair Onyx, the neck breaker from the greatest damn woman. Keeping up that momentum, hooking the leg. But Blair able to kick out. And Blair also building uh, a certain amount of confidence coming off that win against Kayla Sparks. But Gia looking to stop a mud hole through Scott, unable to. Blair with a big boot to the face of Scott, squarely in the center. Oh, going for her again. Relentless she is, but sunset flip. And now the shoulders of Gia Scott are down, but she's able to roll out of it. Now getting... Blair Onyx up on her shoulders. And it's a moment drop from the greatest damn woman from such great heights, the hook of the leg, but no. Went for the inside leg, didn't lay further back to get more of a hook on Blair Onyx. Blair Onyx continues to fight. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, okay. She wants Blair Onyx to stay down. She's offended by the fact that she kicked out. And also to really proclaiming that she is, in the midst of this match, overcoming her fear of spiders. No longer afraid and instead full of rage in this competition here at Women's Wrestling Army. But Blair Onyx now, double axe handle blow to Gia Scott. Scott now scrambling to her feet in the corner. Bounding through is Blair Onyx. Now, Snapmare taking Gia Scott to the center of the ring, coming off the ropes once more. Blair Onyx building up speed, driving a knee, a strike from the spider who hooks the leg. That was a deep cover, but still not enough to keep Scott down. Scott, who, as we saw, got that first win here at WWA and really needs to keep up that momentum if she wants to make it a trend here. Now, firing some back elbows to create distance between herself and Blair Onyx face. First goes the spider. Now, oh, a submission hold from Gia Scott. Will the spider tap out to the greatest damn woman? Blair says no, but so much pressure on the arm, on the shoulder. It it appears that Gia Scott has learned that in order to take out a spider, you've oh, got to... shoulders oh. are down. You've got to cut him from the head, but Blair Onyx still with determination here to win this match, breaking out of that submission. But she's still feeling the effects. Oh. But Spider-like flexibility. I think Gia Scott's thinking better of that strike. Leg swept out from underneath her. Blair Onyx with the cover on Gia Scott, and no! Gia Scott too much on the line. The winning record still so new in its infancy here for her at WWA. She cannot let it slip away now. And now Blair Onyx exiting the ring. Oh, and descending up to the top rope. High rent district, Gia had her scouted here, Alyssa. But also a precarious place, they say high risk, high reward. And now on the shoulders of Gia Scott is where Blair Onyx finds herself. And now some shots to the rib cage and rolled up. Gia Scott able to escape. Kick to the head of the spider. And slams her down. Could this be it? It's the win for Gia Scott. An impressive showing for the spider, but we saw here in this very ring, Gia
Julia Scott overcame her fear and continues her newly found winning ways at Women's Wrestling Army. You know, I don't really agree with her attitude, but the sky is the limit for Julia Scott. And what a great showing by Blair Onyx as well. Let's see her once more at Women's Wrestling Army. Stay tuned for more. We'll be right back.